Pochettino hails Balzi Kane for 100th Premier League goal. Mauricio Pochettino's hailed Harry Kane's bravery after he shrugged off missing a penalty to net his 100th Premier League goal from a second spot kick to salvage Tottenham Hotspur a point from a thrilling 2-2 draw at Liverpool. Kane had seen his first penalty saved by Loris Karius five minutes from time with the score at 1-1. Mohamed Salah then looked to have snatched all three points from Liverpool in style with a stunning solo run and finish in stoppage time to pull level with Kane on 21 Premier League goals for the season. However, Kane edged back ahead of the Egyptian when he sent Karius the wrong way after Liverpool's £75 million club record signing Virgil van Dijk was adjudged to have clipped Eric Lamella inside the area two minutes later. He is one of the best strikers. He can miss a penalty or a chance. But the personality to score 100 Premier League goals is because you have big, big balls. Said Pochettino. The England international is the second quickest ever player to reach a Premier League century. With only Alan Shearer bettering his return of 100 goals in 141 games. It's great to be in that 100 club now. And it's great to get something from the game after that roller coaster of emotions, said Kane. Despite the late drama, Spurs still trail third placed Liverpool by two points down in fifth in the race for a place in the top four. Failure to make the Champions League next season will further fuel speculation as to whether Spurs can retain even a man dubbed one of our own by the Tottenham faithful. One of the world's best. Kane is one of the best players in the world, 100%. If not the best pure striker in the world at the moment. Even Klopp admitted to the Daily Mail before kick-off. However, for all the talent available to Pochettino. Spurs' challenge remains undermined by their record on the road against their closest. Challengers. Under Pochettino, Spurs have still won just one of 19 away trips to the rest of the Premier League's top six at Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal and Chelsea. The Argentine, though, insisted progress is being made after dominating possession at Anfield. After falling behind to Salah's third-minute opener. It was a fantastic performance, said Pochettino. Against a team that is so difficult when they are up on the score the control and performance was amazing. The feeling in the dressing room from the team is that we dropped two points. Spurs had got off to the worst possible start when Salah latched onto a wayward backpass from Eric Deere to Cooley slot past Hugo Loris. The visitors controlled the game after the break but needed a spectacular strike from an unlikely source to get back level when substitute Victor Wanyama smashed into the top corner with his first touch. A frantic final ten minutes ensued as Kane atoned for his poor first penalty and stayed a step ahead of Salah in their personal rivalry for the Golden Boot. Gone into meltdown, Hazard delivers verdict on dramatic Liverpool v Tottenham clash. The game ended up 2-2 after late drama saw Mohamed Salah nearly nick it for Liverpool with a 91st-minute goal, before Harry Kane sealed a share of the points with a last gasp penalty. However the action wasn't over with a freakish penalty being awarded for a foul by Virgil van. Dyke on Musa Dembele, with the linesman awarding the spot kick after the referee had waved. Play on. It was the fifth minute of injury time. Liverpool was leading 2-1 in an action-packed game at Anfield. And home fans were seething after Tottenham was awarded a penalty in front of the KOP. 
courtesy of an intervention by the assistant referee. By contrast, Tottenham manager Mauricio Pochettino congratulated the officials for having the bravery to award two spot kicks to the visitors at Anfield. He can miss a penalty, a chance, but he has the personality. The first bogus penalty was called after a Harry Kane dive. After Victor Wanyama equalized for Tottenham with 10 minutes left to cancel out Mohamed Salah's early opener, Moss and his linesmen took center stage. Liverpool and Tottenham lived up to Jurgen Klopp's image of fearless knights in face-to-face. Combat in a thrilling draw at Anfield Verily and forsooth, this jousting idea could catch on. Unless there's a new rule. Reds boss Jurgen Klopp was furious with the second penalty decision and confronted referee John Moss on the pitch after the final whistle. But he, the assistant referee, obviously wanted to be in the middle of interest and now he is. A point at Anfield rounded off a topsy-turvy week for Spurs, which included a 1-1 draw at Newport County in the FA Cup and then saw Pochettino's men completely outplay Manchester United in a 2-0 Premier League Wembley win on Wednesday. The hosts got off to the best possible start when Mohamed Salah latched onto a wayward back pass from Eric Deer and the Egyptian finished low into the corner. Kane's 21st league goal of the season also edged him one back ahead of Salah in the race to be the Premier League's top scorer, but Liverpool were left furious at Moss and his assistants. But Spurs came back strongly in the second half and the match had as dramatic an ending as any we have seen in the recent past. On the second penalty, Klopp added, did you see the linesman? There were no other incidents in the box apart from the Del Alley situation, which was not given, said Klopp. After the England midfielder was booked in the second half for diving. A situation in the last minute like that? Wow! To score 100 Premier League goals, it is because you have big, big balls. The forward wriggled past Ben Davies, cut inside from the right, then nipped between two challenges before poking a rising shot past goalkeeper Hugo Loris. Loris dove at Salah's boot, but it was too late. 